My name is uh, Dr. Brandy Lingo. I'm the founder and CEO of Worldview Impact Foundation. And I'm very happy to be here. I'll, I'll be speaking tomorrow morning in that booth, uh, okay. hosted by Development 2030 and ADEX. I'm very happy to be in Brussels. So you've dedicated your life, it's safe to say, to um, the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals? We are doing our part. Uh, from our part, we have planted 27 million trees. Oh, wow. And my dream or my goal is like a billion trees before I die. And those billion trees will at least draw down a billion tons of carbon from our planet's atmosphere. And it'll be a legacy for generations to come. So we've planted in Myanmar, in India, in Bangladesh, uh, bits of Africa and Latin America, but we can't plant those mangrove trees in 126 countries all around the equator to protect these small island states and high risk, high climate risk countries from floods and waves and hurricanes and tsunamis. Okay. And we can also uh, recharge the fish stock. We can get 50% more fish stock yield. So it creates jobs and livelihoods for all fishermen communities. You just go to EcoFriend World Okay. Ecofriend.world and you can join our revolution to plant a billion trees uh, around the world. But we must engage a lot of uh, young people. I'm very glad that we have Isaac here. We need to engage the new generation to work, get their hands dirty and take climate action whether they're on land or in the sea. The planet needs to cool with 30 gigatons of carbon. So we need to draw down 30 gigatons every year to cool the planet down. Is but that doable? Governments have committed hundred billion a year for developing countries needs to be hitting the bank account now. Put it on the table. Exactly. So it's nice to pledge. Paris was about making promises. Glasgow was about delivery. They have to deliver now. I mean, we just came out of the conference. There were lots of people from Extension Rebellion who were protesting in the streets. Uh, Greta was there with 100,000 young people in the streets of Glasgow marching. But I wish we can take that energy from the streets of Glasgow, 100,000 young people, to plant 100,000 trees in the highlands of Scotland to rewild Scotland. Nature-based solutions are the best way that we can hit all those goals because if our ecosystem collapses, we will not have air to breathe or food to eat or anything. So the base is uh, life on land and life below water. This, this is the base for all the other goals without land and water. What are we going to do? We can't eat, we can't drink, we're dead. We're yeah. not going to wear Gucci clothes, that's not going to feed you. We're not going to wear Prada shoes, they're not going to feed you. I mean, COVID-19 taught us what's the most important things in our life. And I think people have been able to reflect during the lockdown of priorities in their lives, what is important. It took one little virus to shut the whole planet down and reduce global emissions by 10%. Because no planes, no ships, no industries was releasing any carbon and that brought the, 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 the emissions down by 10% for the whole planet. So Sad, sadly, uh, we are melting our glaciers from the Arctic, the Antarctic and also the Himalayas which is the third largest body of fresh water on the planet after the Arctic and the Antarctic. And as these uh, permafrost melts, all the viruses that have been frozen from the time of the dinosaurs are now no. being introduced into our water and food supplies. Imagine, they are much more deadly than COVID. We don't even know how to deal with them. And they are being reintroduced into our ecosystems from millions of years ago, frozen underneath the permafrost. Because our glaciers are melting, these crazy viruses are entering our oceans and our streams and maybe could reach our food. And, that, and it's happening now, nobody's talking about it. So sadly, more pandemics are going to come as the planet heats up. That's a given. So are we not even prepared? We can't even deal with COVID, you know? So the planet is fine. It's going to wipe us humans out, basically. We will be extinct. Hence, Extinction Rebellion. <laughs> so restore, restore, restore. Restore ecosystem. But is it too late? It's not. If every human being, 7 billion people on the planet, if each human just plants one tree, there will be 7 billion trees every year. But if they do 10 trees each, because in Europe, the way we live, we emit 10 tons a year. Just the food we eat, the clothes we wear, the energy, the, the supply, the demand, the consumption. So each of us, as a duty, we need to plant at least 10 trees each. You and me, living in Europe. Americans need to do 20. They, their footprint is slightly higher than us. And maybe the Africans two and the Indians three. But they, do, they need to do it. We are the last generation to secure the balance in the planet, to restore the balance. And my dream is to do a billion before I die, I said, and I hope 
you can join forces and plant these mangrove trees, these miracle trees to address those sustainable development goals that we've been talking about, that everybody's talking about, but we need to take action. Okay, clear message. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Grazie. Grazie. Grazie mille.